Okay, so recently I made a video where I paid $100 or less for fully custom websites on Fiverr.com. Link in the description in case you missed it. But that video made me want to have some more Fiverr fun. So I decided to pay $10 for just the weirdest website logos using Fiverr. And some of these are actually real businesses that you would never believe actually exist. And stay tuned for a special contest at the end of this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and rewind a few days and see how this all unfolds. Okay, so today I wanna to pretend to own some really strange businesses. And then I wanna find some designers on fiverr.com and tell them I'm building a website for these businesses and I need a logo. And I've got no ideas really for what businesses these are gonna be. All I know is that I want them to just be strange, off the wall, weird. So let's go to Google and just look up weird businesses. Okay, so I'm just gonna go up to Google, type in weird businesses. And let's see what we got. 10 bizarre businesses you didn't know existed. Let's do that. Retro Arcade. Cheese sculpting business. We'll do a cheese sculptor. Let's go ahead and add that one to the menu. Cheese sculptor is a pretty weird thing. What else? Maker of wearable human remains. What? You can wear the remains of your loved one in an urn around your neck. Okay, that one's a little too weird. Uh, <laughs> that one's gonna be too hard. I don't even know what somebody would create for that. 20 of the weirdest services out there. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can rent a goat to mow your lawn. No way. Is this a real website? I'm going to this website. There's no way. Meet the goats of Amazon's new goat rental service? This has got to be like fake news or something. Okay. We're just we're we're putting goat rental up there for sure. What else we got? Snake massage, that's pretty good. Mobile UX testing by moms. <laughs> that one's pretty fitting for this channel because we're all about websites here. So yeah, let's go ahead and add user experience testing by moms to the menu. Where? Who writes this stuff? Like, how do you even come up with something like that? Hangover bus, professional potty training. Invisible boyfriend, rent a mom, poop scooping. We're not gonna do poop scooping because that's like kind of too mainstream. But what if we did like a a poop delivery ser a dog de deliverable dog poop service? That's what we'll do. Okay, let's pass it off. Like we're going to make it like a community, uh, like a community nonprofit that picks up dog poop around the city and then repurposes it to deliver to your enemies in like a perfectly wrapped present. Honestly, that would actually make a pretty good business if it like went viral. Okay, we're adding that to the menu as well. Deliverable dog poop. There's mowing goats again on a different website, thebalancesmb.com. Uh, leave a comment if you've ever had your lawn mowed by a goat. What is this? No way. <laughs> they make roadkill beer koozies. This is a real thing. Hold on. I got to check this out. Invest now with cryptocurrency. Oh, man. They don't have them anymore. Well, either way, we're adding that to the menu because that is hilarious. Okay, so we've got about five now. So I'm going to go ahead and go on to Fiverr and actually... Uh, find five different designers to make these uh, logos. Okay, so I went ahead and found five people that I think could be good candidates for this. This guy even does it for five bucks. It can be delivered in three days with unlimited revisions, which is crazy. Uh, and then, you know, I think this guy could be good with like the, the roadkill. This one should definitely do the cheese sculpting business. I'm just gonna assign one business for each of these guys and just see what happens. So I'm just going to go ahead and click continue for $10. Hi there. I have a taxidermy business where I turn roadkill or small deceased pets into functional beer koozies, and I'm in need of a logo for my new website. 
and send. Your order is now in the works. Cool. Hello, I'm a local farmer with a new business renting my goats to clients who want their lawns trimmed without the hassle of mowing it themselves. I'm in need of a logo for my business that I can use for my website. Send. Hi, I'm a professional cheese sculptor. I make statues out of cheese. Nope. Various cheeses. Can you make a logo that represents what I do? Send. We do community cleanups of all unscooped dog waste and repurpose it into neatly wrapped gifts that you can send to your enemies. This is a real business. And I went ahead and changed the name to Deliverable Dog Do, and it's a waste management, community cleanup, and delivery service. Hey there, I'm working on a new startup called UX Testing by Moms. We test software user experience with a focus group of technologically challenged moms. Senderoo. Okay, so now the designers have everything they need, including payment, so now we wait a few days. Okay, so it's been a few days and we've got all five designs back and they are even better than I could have expected. Uh, so I'm going to show them to you now and be sure to stay tuned at the end for that contest that I mentioned. So let's take a look. Okay, so number one. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Look at it, it's all chiseled and it's dripping. Even the font looks like it's kind of like bubbly cheese that came out of a tube. This, when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, these people are talented. What are you doing, doing this for $10? And he also sent me another version, which is just text. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and make that one the official logo because that head is just hilarious. <laughs> Okay, moving on. Goat rental. Th Honestly, this one turned out even funnier than I expected to because I know goats are funny, but like, look at the eyes on this thing. And it's if you look closely, it's got like a little toupee right here. Uh, and he also sent me another one as well, a second rendition, which not as funny, uh, but still a good logo, honestly. But I'm gonna go ahead and make that one the official logo because that is infinitely funnier. Okay, here we go. UX testing by moms. <laughs> uh, yeah, that looks like a mom to me. Honestly, it kind of looks like my own mom. I, the one thing that stood out to me in this logo is look at how tiny that hand is. That is the most miniature hand I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, but it turned out pretty cool. I like that it's like this little badge looking shape, you know? Would look pretty good on a pocket square. Okay, moving on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's literally taking a poop into a gift. <laughs> I think this one's my favorite. Oh man, that's what I call a fresh product. <laughs> Straight from the source. I swear, these people are so creative. 10 out of 10 for sure on deliverable dog do. So this was the beer koozie one, and I actually had him redo this, because this one kind of looks just like a, I mean, don't get me wrong, very talented drawing, uh, but it just kind of looks like a kid show is like promoting beer to kids. Uh, it doesn't really scream beer koozies to me. So I had him redo it, uh, and this was what I got back, which is, infinitely better and I went ahead and colored it because uh, I did not realize that the one that I signed up for didn't come with color until he sent me this. So I went ahead and colored it myself and gave it a name which is Carry On Koozies and if you don't know what Carry On is, uh, it's actually spelled with a C but it's kind of a formal way of saying dead animal. So I went ahead and named it Carry On Koozies and I, honestly I think this one and the deliverable dog do are tied for my favorite. Okay, so now for the contest. This is actually gonna be a slogan contest. So what you're gonna do is just write the funniest slogan that you can think of for any one of these logos or fake businesses. So how it's gonna work is you just write the name of the fake business, so carry on koozies, and then you would just go ahead and write your slogan. And whatever slogan gets the most upvotes 
the winners are going to be receiving t-shirts with that logo, the name, and their slogan on them. And they'll be featured in the winner announcement video later on, which is going to be randomized. I'm not going to tell you a due date, so feel free to put in as many entries as you want. If you want to put one for each logo you can, or multiple for one logo, go for it. Whatever gets the most upvotes is the winner. So there's going to be five winners. So stay tuned on my channel for those. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and feel free to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. All right, see you on the next video.